In his book, The Abolition of Man, C.S. Lewis writes about a rebellion of the branches against the tree. If the rebels could succeed, they would find that they had destroyed themselves. That is what humanity has done. In our desire to ignore God, we are dying. As a result, we think we desire what is good and right for us, but our differing definitions, opinions, and identities are coming up short and often at odds. It is inescapable that we are all limited and broken. How often do our ambitions prove meaningless? But like the cut-off withering branch that is grafted back into the tree, being reconciled to the source and sustainer of life is life transforming. It guarantees the realized purpose and satisfaction for which you were designed. After finishing this book, I, I really just appreciated the opportunity to stop and to savor the work of God in salvation. As a mom, I'm always looking for tools to help my daughters understand the gospel of Jesus. This book does just that. The title of this book is not an exaggeration. These seven words changed my life and showed me how to live as a redeemed child of God. I pray that they will change your life too. Seven Words That Can Change Your Life dives into the depths of what God has done for your reconciliation to Himself. It is a deep search into the goodness of God and how you can live, you can thrive by His grace. You find your greatest freedom by surrendering to Him. Seven Words That Can Change Your Life outlines God's activity on your behalf. It is not about you cleaning up your act, adhering to a creed, or following a code of conduct. His grace works this way. When you draw near to God feeding on His goodness, and you can because you've been reconciled to Him, think of the tree branch grafted back into the tree. The more you draw near and feed on His goodness, the more His life flows through you. That's how these seven words can change your life so that you realize the purpose and satisfaction for which you were designed.